When playing League of Legends, knowing how to correctly manipulate minion waves is one of the most important mechanics in the game, and one of the most overlooked mechanics in lower elo. There are three different methods of manipulating a minion wave. You can fast push a wave, freeze a wave, or slow push a wave, and we'll go over what you should use and when. Firstly, fast pushing. This is very straightforward. Just kill all the minions as quickly as possible to push your minions into their tower. This is possibly the weakest way to default push, and should only really be used in two circumstances. The first being that you want your wave at your opponent's tower. This could be for any reason such as your opponent has roamed and you're looking to deny farm, or simply you can push in for tower plates. The second reason to fast push is if you're in danger. For example, if you've got low health and you're at risk of being killed, or if you know the enemy jungler is looking your way, fast pushing is a quick way to get yourself out of that lane and buy yourself a small amount of time to fall back or have backup arrive. So what is the downside to fast pushing? Well usually when doing this you're just forcing a single wave into the tower. With minions spawning every 30 seconds and it taking 5-10 to 10 seconds to push a wave in, you're not giving yourself a good window to roam or be impactful in any way. In addition, if you're fast pushing, you're letting your opponent get pretty free farm under their tower where they are very safe. And if you want to challenge them for this farm, you're putting yourself at high risk for no reason. Also, what quite often happens is you've now given priority to your opponent to set up a freeze or slow push back at you, which can cause you to quickly lose control over your lane. The second method is freezing a wave. This is pretty easy to set up. You just last hit minions when your wave has fewer minions than your opponents. As long as the opposing minion wave has two or three more minions in it than yours, you should be able to set up a freeze, making sure this minion line does not move from where it is. There are many advantages to freezing a lane. Firstly, you're keeping yourself incredibly safe and easily able to farm while keeping the opposing laner overextended. Also, freezing is a great option if you're ahead or behind. If you're behind, it can keep you safe from ganks and all-ins and allows you to farm. And if you're ahead, it's a crippling way to deny your opponent farm and sometimes even experience depending on how far ahead you are. The downside to freezing, however, is that you have now committed to being in that lane for a very long time. This means that if the enemy team go for a dragon or herald, your opponent will usually have priority over you. In addition, it means they'll be able to roam and gank without any pressure from you. So a good general idea for freezing is that if your opponent is great at roaming, don't freeze. Your teammates will not be happy with you. The third and final method is the slow push. This is incredibly strong and should be your default way to push. And thankfully, it's very easy to do. All you do is simply push the minion wave slowly, last hitting and pushing where you need to. What happens following this is you're able to build up two and sometimes even three waves of minions to crash into your opponent's tower. This strategy is actually really similar to the fast push, except you're pushing more minions into the tower, which overcomes the weakness of fast push. I don't see what the difference is between the slow push and the freeze. You're just last hitting. Oh. Pushing in that you don't have time to be effective. Where with multiple minions crashed, you can now be impactful. The main advantages of this are, you now have time to roam, you can freely back and buy, you can often get multiple tower plates, and you're pretty safe because no one wants to fight you, you in a large group of minions. In addition, if you oh. do score a kill, it is devastating because your opponent is going to miss so much farm. Essentially, this method allows you to do anything you want. The only real downside to this no. method is if you're weaker, it what? may allow your opponent to set up a freeze in their favor. But if that is the case, either look to push the minions hard into the tower or go and roam. I I hope you found this guide helpful and here is a cheat sheet of what method I to use and when. I don't really understand what the fucking slow push. You build up a wave so they're stuck under tower. Isn't that just hard pushing? Or fast pushing? I killed the range creeps.